are in the kitchen at Second Harvest and I'm with Kristen and it looks like we're going to make some sort of granola, which is one of my favorite things to eat in the morning. I love Mine it. too. Yeah. And we're making good morning granola. Good morning granola. That's what do you call, call it that? <laughs> I sing the song from good Singing morning, in the Rain. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> 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 to break them up. That's so, so cute. One day I just ad libbed in a song and said, that is so Good cute. morning, granola. <laughs> and so now we all <laughs> call it Good Morning Granola. Your kids are going to have the best memories <laughs> of you when they grow up. I, know. I just love it. Okay, what do we need to do first? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you quarter some dried apricots okay. for me. And then I'm going to add our um, old fashioned oats okay. and some chopped walnuts. And we're just quartering. Yeah, okay. you're just gonna quarter them. And some that. craisins. I like how you're very specific when you tell me what to do. <laughs> Instead of, Christy, why don't you chop those? Out. <laughs> Christy, quarter the <laughs> apricots, please. We know each other. Okay, so and then then I added some just pepitas. In there? Okay. Have you seen these before? They're kind of fun. I have, but are, are they pumpkin seeds? They are, they're okay. pumpkin seeds. And I like them because they give it just a nice little color pop. Yeah, in the they do. But here's the real star of our granola. The honey. The honey. Really? Yes. Why do you like honey with your granola? It is the perfect sweetness. Is it? My mom would make granola sometimes. It's my grandma's recipe. Mm -hmm. And it had a lot of corn syrup and sugar and right. it was delicious. Yeah. But when I, you know, wanted to start making my own granola, then I wanted to kind of make it a little healthier but still have that perfect mm -hmm. amount of sweetness to it. So I found that honey was just the just perfect right. way to do it. After we combine the honey with some canola oil, we add in a pinch of salt and whisk it all together. A lot of people kind of think that granola is fattening and, and full of like lots of sugar, but this this is, has very little. Sh I mean, very little oil, and but you kind of need that, don't you? You do. It's going to help it brown mm -hmm. up and really stick together. But you're right. A lot of the prepared granola that mm -hmm. you buy at the store, yeah. they can have a lot of added lot of sugar stuff. and fat. Yeah. Can I have those in here? Yes. But the other ah. benefit of making this yourself is that it's a really cost-effective way mm -hmm. to make a lot of granola. Why is granola so expensive, I, I wonder? I don't know. I don't know either, because it's just simple, basic. Do you want to mix that all together for us? Yeah. Once the ingredients are mixed, Kristen pours the liquid on top, and we mix them together. It kind of takes a little bit of elbow work because you want to smash all of that honey till it oh, gets okay. nice and incorporated. Okay. You can use really? a stand mixer with a paddle attachment and it's oh. done in a snap. Okay. Sometimes I just don't want more dishes, so I just do it by hand. Sure, absolutely. My kids like this job too. Sure. And then they do a little quality control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. Just make sure it tastes good, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you like to eat your granola? I like mine with Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. And my kids like theirs with milk. Oh, yeah. So and we kind a big of yogurt girl. Are you a yogurt? Yeah. What's your ultimate granola? What well, the it? granola that my family brings is is chock full of nuts. Has lots oh, of nuts in yeah. it, but it has the pepitas in it. And um, we use honey and syrup. Oh, so. granola is really versatile. Yeah. So sometimes you can add um, peanut butter sure. or almond butter, mm -hmm. different kinds of oils and flavors. And like you said, the different kinds of honeys, you can add spices and tons of different kinds of dried fruits right. and really get a different taste. I like that. It looks, what do you think? It looks perfect. Okay. We spread our granola out on a cookie sheet and throw it in the oven to bake. Okay, we have some cooled off granola yes. out of the oven. Looks golden and delicious. So you'll see, it kind of sticks a little bit. Oh yeah. And so you can just kind of bring it up in sections. Mm -hmm. I like my granola to have some of those big chunks. Okay. So you can just kind of use your hands. Sure. If you want it all to be in tiny pieces, you could sure. turn it right as soon as it gets out of the oven. Okay. But we let it cool so that we could still get some larger size pieces. And since we both like yogurt, yeah. we brought some some Greek Stra yogurt. Strawberry Greek yeah. yogurt today. We scoop some of our yogurt in a bowl, add some granola, and dig in. Here we go. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy mm -hmm. and not too sweet. I like how honey, it seems to that you always get that nice aftertaste with honey. You do. It's that sweet, deep, it's kind of a mellow, mellow flavor a mellow to sweetness. it. Mellow mm. sweetness. Good fuel for your day. Mm hmm. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>